And I know you're thinking, you're like, oh, that's a terrible idea. We shouldn't get people liquored up and throwing axes around. But actually, I think it's a great idea. Because I don't know if you guys watch the news, but in America, there's a civil war coming, and Portland is unprepared. All right, we are going to lose. We have no guns, so we better learn how to throw up some freaking axes. Or something, you know what I mean? I don't have a gun. I don't have any guns. I don't even have a friend with a gun. I have one friend who's pretty good at escape rooms. But I don't know. That's going to help. Maybe I'm getting a pickle and there's a clue master. And war? I don't know. I don't, I don't have any other guns. They're going to come up. Let's be honest. That war starts, Portland's just going to fall over right away. But then we got to learn guerrilla tactics. we got to be like the Viet Cong. You know what I mean? we got to throw axes. And we've got to build tunnels from Cat Cafe to Vegan Bakery <laughs> to Tapas Bar. You know what I mean? They'll all intersect at the farmer's market where, where we'll learn to make bombs. We're going to have to make sustainable bombs. That's right. Environmentally friendly and put them in NPR tote bags and attach those bombs to scooters. Yes, we're going to make suicide scooters. That's right. And who among you is brave enough to ride the suicide scooter? sacrifice yourself on a suicide scooter, when you go to heaven, you will be greeted by 72 people who want to hear your opinions about music. So, it's going to be tough, but uh, we stick together.